curse that doddering old fool. Striking out on his own was idiotic to the utmost degree. Had he only been more patient, we could have all joined with the Imperial Army's main corps and mobilized as one cohesive unit. It seems the Kingdom's offer of shelter to the Central Church incensed him to act. You know how deeply Lord Lenato's hatred for the Church and their kind has festered. Ever since the day they brought a blade down on his son's neck. But what of his adopted son? Wasn't he made a knight of the royal family? For a time he served the Grand Duke of Etha as well. I can't possibly fathom what the man is thinking. Really? The matter seems rather open and shut to me. He possesses a burning hatred for both the church and the archbishop at its head. Just as they deserve the ultimate punishment in Lenato's mind, so too does the king who has chosen to take them in. <sighs> if only he'd slowed down for a moment to consider how his ridiculous actions would affect me. I carried out my betrayal of the kingdom with the promise of imperial protection of our territory firmly in sight. That will, of course, all be for naught if this ends with our lands razed to the ground and my head skewered on the lance of the enraged King of Fargus. <laughs> I imagine he will be quite angry. Yes, we should prepare ourselves for what's to come. If Lord Lenato and his men fall, Aryan Road is sure to be met with a siege. In which case, we hand it back to the kingdom. A peace offering, if you will. But if Lenato emerges victorious, we defect to the Empire as planned. Both sides covet the fortress. Whichever way the winds of war blow, we only need match them to stay afloat. Are you sure, Your Excellency? Normally, you'd balk at such cagey behavior. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me, Gwendol. You've said it yourself. There will be no shame in surrender as long as you fight tooth and nail to the end.